Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. It been so crazy, man. We had uh, we had uh, you that say say cheese uh, Don Chief dilemma that went on over here, man. Yeah. Uh, some people say that Don Chief is a legend. Some people say that he's you know he's disgruntled. When you seen that being a Dallas page, and it ain't mm -hmm. you know I know you have love for everybody, but yeah, when you facts. seen that, I know people say, man, that damn boss talk messy. Nah, you just give. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, like nigga, whatever, man. Yeah. I'm just basically just letting a nigga get it off because somebody say like if you say this or that, mm -hmm. and like you just said, oh no, I'm not speaking. That's cool, but if you speak on somebody, then you got to know that that person might end up on there man. saying something back to say, hey man, you know, uh, yeah, yeah nigga, you, you can't know what be one sided, especially nah. when you say you're trying to be neutral. Neutral, can't be see, neutral for me is like if I know two people is into it. I'm not taking their side. No. But right. if you ask me some questions, like, I don't care what you ask me, I'm going to give it to you wrong. Right. Yeah, yeah, no. So you talking about, like, that situation? Yeah, like, do you think, who was wrong in that situation? I don't think Chief was wrong. I think Chief was a legend. I think people got to understand, you out of pocket for discrediting anybody who who gave a platform to teach Dallas niggas how to do music. Yeah. How to stay out of jail, hustling, and doing the music. He did both. Like, people got to give that man his flowers. And if he irritated about it, that's just what it is. You can't tell another man how to not to feel. Yeah, but when you when you think about the fact of uh, some saying chief not working no more like that, and they you know feel like uh, you know um, you know why would they post him if he don't have the music to back it up? What chief what chief has to do is chief has to connect with the youngsters and show him how they stay relevant. That's how I had to learn. I got TikTok now. Um, my son tell me if it's whack. I say you like this uh, because at the end of the day you don't want to get lost in the sauce. You don't want to be another old nigga. That ain't really uh, putting out nothing that's relatable. Because the niggas that was our fans 10, 15 years ago, they ain't on the internet. Mm -mm. They ain't, they not um, coming out, um, downloading your music and streaming your music. So if you want to be streamed, you want to be relevant on the internet, you got to do something that's relevant to that generation. So do you, with, with Sean, the way, way he, he did he do anything wrong by not putting Chief back on this Hell show? Hell yeah, I think so. I think Why? This, because this is what I feel. I feel that Anytime you mention something about Dallas, at some point you got to have respect for the OGs. You don't got to respect all of them, but you got to have a platform to say, you know what, if this is a Dallas-based platform, show some love to Chief or tell Chief how he can uh, he can get his shit together. Yeah. Instead of just telling a nigga you ain't going to put him on that fool, it's like, yeah, help, that, help that man out. Do you mean help him to understand why? Man, it's not about helping him to understand why. Show him the direction. You dig what I'm saying? Yeah. Teach him because we, we, didn't, we, didn't we didn't have uh, social media when we was out. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like it's a whole different ball game now. You gotta be a, at some point. You gotta be a stand up nigga and be like, you know what? I'm not gonna argue with you, bro. I'm just gonna show you how to do it. So, do you think because he did that early on the interview mm. for for uh, Sean when he mm. didn't have to, you feel like Sean should at least gave him the respect to say, yeah, "Hey, yeah. man, this is how you need to link yeah. from here on out." Because because uh, I ain't gonna lie, say cheese is a big platform. Right. A lot of people watch that platform. I I. I He's been on here a couple of times. When you look at like 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 Sean basically having a platform like he got building it up, right. you think Dallas had a lot to do with that foundational bill for him? Yeah, I did interviews early on with Sean too, so, but I also I also did some shit like how Chief is feeling right now. I did an interview with uh, Terry Blue, and I called Sean Cotton a whole ass nigga. Why? Because. I was calling his phone, calling his phone, calling his phone, and he wasn't answering. He say he working on that. Yeah, but that's to me working. He on, does that to everybody, right? But to, you gotta understand something. We come from the era. If you don't, if you don't want me calling your phone, just answer the phone. Say, hey, I'm busy. But I had to. I had. I put my foot in my mouth and called him a whole ass nigga. That's the clip they ran with on the internet. Oh, mm -hmm. damn! Because somebody said, "Why was you so mad?" I said, "Cause I'm in a meeting with Atlantic Records, and they're like, do you know Sean Cotton?'" I'm like, "Yeah, I know. I'm finna call him. Boom, get to Houston. Kia didn't need his number. I'm blowing his phone up." He didn't answer, but I texted him on his birthday and he responded. So I I kind of harbored Feels those emotions, right? Yeah. But when I did the interview, instead of me answering how I should have answered, I called him a whole ass nigga. They ran with it, and them young niggas told me up in the comments. Yeah. Because they don't they look say at, you old and disgruntled. Well, they ain't calling me disgruntled. <laughs> <laughs> they just was like, what kind of whole ass nigga get mad because another man won't answer the phone? And, but my head, I'm like, bro, if you call me to do something, I'm gonna answer the phone. I come from the air. I, I don't know if I told you that story about PMC. He said, if somebody your nigga, you should be able to call him on the phone. If they pick up the phone, they show me a lot of days. He told short. He told um my nigga Beto about um short dog when he had uh, called short dog a fake nigga. He told Beto man call that nigga. Was phone him on. That nigga answered the phone. PMC was one of the people, so I stand on those principles. My problem was I shouldn't have said it on the interview. I should have just waited till I seen Sean and said, "Yo, did I do something wrong?" 
Because we don't we 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 act off old nigga emotions, bro. Yeah. So you know what so I'm saying. You really, really don't care. Hey, you, did you ever get a chance to talk with Sean and tell um, him? Tell him, hey man, not face to face, but I've told people around him that I should have never like disrespected that man, called him a whole ass nigga. And I'm 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 one of the people like you said, you are human, you made mistakes, but you gotta be man enough to say, you know what, I shouldn't have called him a whole ass nigga. Mm -hmm. yeah. What I should have did was wait till I seen him and asked him like, yo, why you don't pick up the phone? Because yeah. you know what happened next. My wife is watching um. Uh, Big D, the mogul. His yeah, Big D. And he said, what's your biggest problem? He said, man, answer on the phone. <laughs> right. so yeah, I he felt, said that I on here too. I hit you a couple of times. Like, that nigga ain't answering me back. But I got it. Yeah. Because I start thinking of it the same way because I be busy too. Yeah. And, I, I, and I, I'm trying to create waves to where I, I control my time. Right. Yeah, so I, need, I, I, I need to do better with that. No, and I know it. But I'm just telling you, I understand why too though. You need to do better, but you also need to stay focused because exactly. there's a lot come with what you're trying to accomplish and mm -hmm. what you're doing, a lot of people never do, bro. Exactly. So I get it, you know yeah. what I'm saying? I, and I appreciate you for understanding that because a lot of times it becomes- People get mad at you. But it's shit, and that's why when I seen, I seen it on here, he said it too. He said five, it on here. But I don't, it ain't no smoking no with me and Sean. I think of me and Sean, we probably laugh. He probably not even remember that shit, but yeah. it, it hurt me because them young niggas was in my inbox. <laughs> like, hey, they don't play by Sean, man. man. They been on chief about Sean. Like, they, yeah, he got a hell of a following, you know. I, yeah. I'm going to be honest with you. I, I like, to you and, and to him, mm -hmm. and just, I'm forever indebted because for the fact of you guys didn't have to come over here like you did. I always yeah, look at that. She know how I am. Right. I don't play about it. I'm going to check on you. I, right. I, I check on everybody. And I just, you know, him, you know, I don't call him yeah. because I know he ain't going to answer. Or I think he ain't going to answer. Right. Right. So I'll be like, I'll text him and say, man, you good, man. Keep pushing. Yeah. I don't want nothing back, but I'm just saying, hey, because not only him, I've been friends with a lot of people like Certain people that left here and became multimillionaires out of this yeah. store, and 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 they didn't answer the phone a lot of times. But then they came on my platform, and mm -hmm. that's the difference, E. That's the difference, like uh, because when when you got two friends who's grinding towards their goals and what they trying to do, they don't get caught up in the bullshit. I'm sorry, they don't Go get ahead. caught up in the bullshit in the sense of. Uh, Man, he ain't pick up the phone. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Or uh, man, he he Hollywood. Or man, he's changed. Yeah. Because dog, I'm grinding, dog. Yeah. Like, I already you know, know what I'm saying? Like, okay, I see you calling, but shit, let me get this last set. Yeah. And this last set done turned into an hour, and then from that hour, I went into my entrepreneurship, and that turned into another hour. So at the end of the day, man, I'm tired. You know what I'm saying? And I I I, I forgot to hit you back, but that doesn't mean I don't love you. Exactly. So also, that means you're not working as hard as me. Me, That's you know right. what I'm saying? If you waiting you on me. You have too much yeah. time. Yeah. You got too much time though. on your hands, dog. You know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, and that's what I've already respected about you, <laughs> he has always kept it so... You know what I mean? A hundred work, man. <laughs> because he 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 grinded. He was yeah. his own boss. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Bosses bosses relate to other bosses. Right. You know Dope, what I'm saying? Man. And we supposed to be in a room with each other and sit at the dinner table together and eat with each other. You know what I'm saying? And create other bosses. And it was like, E, I, I respect you so much because yeah. when I was playing ball and I was here. You you didn't you would always just check on me and yep. you never did. You knew that I was busy and you a hustler, so and so he got it. You know what I mean? Can I be so real that, with you? That's the way I look at Sean as well. Can too, I be though. real with you? Go ahead. It's a new generation and they deal with mental health differently. Right. Differently. When we was coming up, even your mom was having a bad day at work, she still had to come home and face reality. Youngsters be like, you know what, I'm gonna just I'm gonna just click out and I'm just, out of there. I'm, I'm just not gonna answer the phone, shut down, like shut their Facebook down and shut their Instagram yeah. down. Yeah. We from the old school, you had to deal with it. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gon' talk.